Hiya there. For the physics exam in 2022, the exam board knows that you've had a bit of a hard time studying due to COVID. So they're providing you with all of the equations that you need to know, which I'm showing you now. Have a good look at them, because you don't want to see them for the first time in your exam, otherwise you'll waste time trying to find out which equation you need, if it's not given to you in the actual question itself. I'll put a link for the equations document in the description, so you can download it for yourself if you want, or just pause the video and have a look at what I'm putting on the screen now. Now, because you're being given the equations, as long as you haven't got pork sausages for fingers, you should be able to take your calculator, pop the numbers in, press equals, and get the correct answer. Let me help you to build your confidence. Do you know that one third of all the questions on the physics papers are usually calculations? Which means roughly 20 marks out of 60 marks for the combined papers will be calculations and roughly 33 marks out of 100 will be on the triple paper. Now to put that into perspective, if you look at the grade boundaries which I'm showing you here on the physics exams, on the combined science foundation papers you only need about an average of 24 marks out of 60 on each of the paper just to get a level 4. So if you do well on the calculations and you pick up a few extra marks on the explanations, then you should be able to get to level 4 quite comfortably. 31 marks out of 60 is a level 5, which is the top mark on the foundation paper. So as I'm saying to my students, I think that's very achievable. On the combined science higher papers, you only need an average of about 19 marks per paper out of 60 to get a level 5, which you can actually get just from the calculations. And then every time you go up by 6 marks, you're going up an extra level. So roughly 25 marks is a level 6, which is very achievable. 31 marks is a level 7. 37 marks is a level 8. And 43 marks is a level 9. On the physics triple higher paper, you only need an average of about 31 out of 100 on both papers for a level 5. Which again, you can get just from the calculations. <laughs> and then every time you go up by about 11 marks, you will jump up an extra level. So roughly 43 marks is a level 6, 54 marks is a level 7, 64 marks is a level 8, and 75 marks out of 100 is level 9. So, I hope you understand how much of a difference you can make yourself on the exam papers, especially this year, just by doing well on the calculations. And as I say, if you're being given all of the equations, you've literally just got to put the numbers into your calculator, you should be able to do that. So believe in yourself. Now make sure that you're practicing a few of the exam papers before you go in. I've got plenty of walkthroughs on my channel and my past paper playlist. I'll put the descriptions down below and I'm going to be dropping a few more this week as well just to help you out. So good luck in your exams, work hard and be nice. <laughs>